Long ago in a land ravaged by war and chaos, one man was about to pave a path to glory. It was none other than this dumbass. Okay, men, it's my first day at war and my first time commanding a platoon. But don't worry, I'm proud to have watched nine hours of Lord of the Rings and all seasons of Game of Thrones. So, with my banged up rusty sword and your nipple shields, I'm sure we have at least a 20% chance of making it out alive. For Frodo! Boom, boom, boom! I'm not hitting anyone. Oh, there you go. Steady, my men. Your blades will taste flesh and blood once the gate is breached. Stay resolute! Easy now. Easy. And... Alright, let's go! Tino Hiccup and I! Tino Hiccup and I! Menhub! Charge! Do not falter! Uh, there you go! Good job, Ben! Overwhelm them! Whew. Nice! Very good. Pizza party is on me after this, boys. Alright, boys, follow me! For the Shire! For the Shire! Oh my god, what's happening? Oh god! Man, help! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I died. <laughs> Alright, toothpick gang, let's go, boys! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Into position, boys! Keep those toothpicks up! Whatever. We have them in their last legs, boys. For Frodo! For Frodo! Ah, Frodo! Why do I always fall down? Hey, we won! Yeah, boy! Yatta! We did it, boys. We freaking did it. We are awesome. I owe it all to myself. I mean, my boys. Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're playing Conqueror's Blade. It's a free-to-play, open-world multiplayer online strategy and action game available on Steam. The core gameplay is hack and slash while commanding units during battle as well as exploring the very vast open world to gather resources and glory. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do, but what I'll be showing to you guys are the really fun stuff, like um, uh, these guys who are just randomly fighting in the busy streets. <laughs> Look at that. Anyways, allow me to show you guys how the game works. After you've created a character, you'll be asked to choose a weapon class to master. I'll be trying out the cooler looking one, starting with my personal main, the Nodachi. It's a long ass samurai sword, perfect for attacking groups and for staying longer in battle due to its lifesteal. So it's a good balance for offense and sustain. Alright, let's try it out with Rupert here. Let's go. Start spar. This should be good. This guy is pretty strong, by the way. He's like a... Like a... You'll see. It's pretty good. Let's see, I have to get the pounce on him right away. Oh, let's do the throw. Oh, nice. See what I mean? This guy's good for an AI. So now that he has his shield up, you gotta break it down. Just keep on relentlessly attacking or doing that. Oh, man. That was bad. Okay. Gotta break this shield. Break his shield. Okay. Let's go life steal him. You can go behind him and there you go. See? And then... There you go. That was pretty good. Oh, missed there. While well, he has his shield up there, just go around him and attack right like this. And just keep attacking and finish him off. There you go. See? 
That's how awesome the Nadachi is. It's pretty cool. All right, nice. The next weapon is something that got recently added to the game during the update. The Maul. Well, it's basically a giant sledgehammer that deals staggering blunt damage to your opponent, so it's perfect for breaking through armor or shields. Its skills includes Ukos Doom that delivers a quick blow to the enemy, Earth Splitter that knocks back enemies when you charge it up, and Up From Hell that swings the Maul upwards and adds to your combo. Alright boys, let's try it out with Rupert here. Here we go. So just for good measure, I'm gonna charge up the Earth Splitter right away and... See what I mean? Just relentlessly attack these shield boys and they won't be able to do a thing. And then up from hell, one more. Oops. Missed that one. But no worries. Give him another Ukos Doom and that's it. See? So again, if you're up against uh, armored guys or the ones with shields, the Maul is an excellent weapon against them. They don't stand a chance. And there you have it, guys. There are several other weapon classes I haven't shown you, like the bows, the pole arms, or the sword and shield combos. But you can always try them out once you start playing the game. It's free, by the way. I mean, you can try it out to your heart's content and find the perfect weapon that suits your playstyle. Alright, guys? Awesome! Next, I'll show you how the unit system works. During battle, you will have troops to command that will aid you and your team. How you use them will turn the tide of battle. I mean seriously, these troops are very important and very effective during PvP when commanded properly. Choosing which troops to use on a certain situation can mean life and death in PvP. As you level up or progress, you'll unlock more units to use in battle. Speaking of which, the new update also added new units. We have the Condottieri Guards that works like shock troopers. The Forte Brascio Pikemen that's effective against cavalry and infantry charges. The Artillerymen that can blast away the ranks of your enemies. The Pavise Crossbowmen that are effective range units in the front lines. And lastly, the Martellatori that's used more for utility like pushing siege engines. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys the open world aspect of the game. So you just go to the Watchman over here. And then uh, D for five, and then choose which uh, units you want to, uh, to bring with you. And then leave the fifth, whatever a fifth means. All right, boys, welcome to the open world. See that all your units that you bought with you will be following you around. And what exactly are you gonna do here? Well, just take a look. You guys can hear that, right? So <laughs> right now. We're in an area called a friendly area, the blue thing here indicated by that one. Once you leave the blue area, uh, you're gonna go through neutral area, which means... See that? Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Leaving the safe zone and now we're in the neutral area. In the neutral area, anything goes. You can be attacked by rebels, you can be attacked by other players, you can pillage villages and all that. There's a lot of things to do. So right now, like, uh, there are two uh, teams on battle over there. You can even join in if you're in the same faction or if you're in the same guild. Or you can just defeat these rebels and let, let's go for the rebels. Alright, start battle. Here we go. Alright, once you accept the battle with the rebels, just kick their ass and that's it. Let's go. Easy, easy, lemon, speedy, and that should do it. So by battling rebels, you also get resources like these, food, which you need for your units. The more units you have, the more foods, you, uh, food you need to supply to your uh, units. And then something to upgrade their uh, weapons as well. So it's pretty cool. It's worth it. So if you want to upgrade stuff, go out in the open world and uh, pillage. You can gather from farms if you want. Just gather over there. It's going to take like a few seconds and then it's yours. Once you got your rice, that's it. You can move on to the next farm or next place and then uh, do whatever you want. There's a bunch of uh, stables over there. If you want uh, upgrades for your horse. And right over there, coarse cotton field to upgrade your clothing. And then right over here, a cowhide tannery. I don't know what you do there. <laughs> so there's a lot of things to do in the open world. And this is really big, by the way. Let me show you. We are right here, and this is like, like a really, really small area. And then the whole entirety of Conqueror's Blade 
is right over here and it extends even way to the left see that so this, this is a region I chose in the beginning of the game okay this is just one region and we're where right here we are right here way over here on this region okay that that's how big this game is that's just one region okay and then if you choose another region there's another region right over here there's another region right over there I think so this game is pretty big there's a lot of things to do a lot of things to explore you can go from city to city on horseback on the open world it's up to you all right that's how big this game is also keep on a lookout on these abandoned camps and carts there are usually a lot of resources there as well you can bring back uh, to your city there you go grab this there you go nice see we got some logs awesome okay guys next i'll show you guys around the city of daicheng this is just one of many cities in this region and uh, i'm not sure how how similar this city is from others but it has a lot of stuff so if you press tab you'll see all of the npcs and all of the shops available in this city so uh, let me walk you through guys call your horse there you go and chill let's go so this is the watchman this guy is a go-to guy if you want to go out in the open world and then these are the main two guys you go to for quests the war scholar and this guy the sheriff the sheriff is the one you talk to if you want to go for pvp like for example match battles training camp field battles siege battles and all that so you go you go here so this is the main shop area this is the artisan the armory and the smith so it's pretty self-explanatory what the <laughs> what they deal with and if you want to try out weapons you go to this guy this is the master at arms so if you want to try out a new weapon in the training yard you go to this guy so yep those are the main npcs that you'll probably be going back and forth to the others i haven't really uh check them out yet but yep the city is pretty big it looks awesome as well very oriental there are a lot of npcs you can interact with i have i'm not sure if they're gonna give you quests though but they're cool see every freaking npc here can be interacted with they just yeah <laughs> so the next thing i'm gonna show you guys is how to change the language of the game because for some reason there are a lot of players who are very confused on how to change the language especially if uh they're playing in another region so let me walk you through it's pretty it's pretty easy okay for those who are confused on how to change the language of their game especially if you're playing from another region like let's say for example thailand or uh, somewhere else uh, it's pretty easy just go to your game library find conqueror's blade right click on conqueror's blade click properties and right here you'll see the language and then just change it to whatever is available let's say for example you want to change it to uh to japanese there you go close that and then just relaunch the game it's gonna change to japanese let's try and there you go guys it's now in nihongo see that let's check the rest of the game so everything else is japanese see everything is in japanese so yep, there you go. The interface is in Nihongo, your map is in Nihongo, the NPC's name are, is in Nihongo, their dialogue sequences are in Nihongo. It's all good. So just change to whatever language suits you. Okay, now that we've seen the basics of this game, I'm about to show you guys the most awesome thing about this game, which is the siege battle or uh, the 15 versus 15 PvP with around 1,000 units in just one map. So the way it works is that uh, there's going to be the two teams. Uh, one team will be storming the castle and then the other team will be defending the castle. Looks like we'll be the one storming the castle. Here we go, boys. I am hyped. Ayan, dito mapupunta lahat ng mga ano, uh, training mo or mga natutunan mo dun sa basics. Yung mga natutunan mo about like uh, commanding units and all that stuff. Look at this! This is just half of the map. Let's go, boys! Follow me! Let's go, let's go! Trebuchet! Boom! Let's go! Rain down on those heathens! Boom! Nice, so. Oh, okay, I'm going to There's a hero over there. Okay, 
Let me see Star Summon. Look at that, the enemies are ready over there. Holy crap. Once the breach is on gate, na yan, we're gonna storm in. Oh, you're ready now, Malaki, do no? Let's go, let's go! Time to breach! KK! Tina, I got my time! I need my pike man here guys, let's go, let's go! Charge! Go, go, push them back, push them back. Deploy quickly. I Overwhelm them, boys. Push them back! Push them back! We got them boys! Keep them out! We're winning! We got it! Yes! Last one guys! Survive! Closing the door, no! Ouch! Break the door! Door is broken! Back, 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 
Oh no, we might lose this! Jesus Christ, Grave! Wow! Can I go 1v1 for the other one? Ah oh, man. Well, that was a close uh, battle, maybe. But it was epic! Uh, so yeah. Woo, and there you go, that's uh, Siege. Uh, siege battles, 15 versus 15, 1000 units. So there you go, guys. If you want to experience the same epicness but do better than me, then do download Conqueror's Blade. It's free on Steam. And the developers are constantly adding new content to it every season. So there's a lot of fun stuff to do uh in the future so guys download link in the description below i'll see you guys in the battlefield hell yeah